beautiful though. What more can you ask for? The beautiful sunshine out in the countryside. I've got myself a new camper van and you'll never guess the layout of it. In fact, it's convinced me that's it. I'm done. Motro man's no more. I'm going to go away in my camper van and I'm going to do a new job. There you go. There you go. Right, you're done. Next. 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 Right, what do you want doing? Well, not too much off the top. Are you joking? <laughs> right, in you get. Back, there you go. I had two ears when I come in here. Next! 42 quid, please. Could I have the other ear back then? <laughs> Just lean back, Kevin, and let the blood go into the sink. You'll be all right. I'll have to put my ear over there. Lean back, you'll be all right. There you go. What's all the fuss about? You've got two ears anyway. I haven't done one. I've got one. My glasses will fall off. <laughs> Now we do get all types of motor homes and camper vans in, but this has to be a first. We've got a Mercedes Sprinter 316 CDI to 2015. It's done 160,000 miles. It's auto with 3,500 kilograms, and it's been converted by McLaren Sport Homes. So let's have a look at this van, because it's something a little bit different. So let's have a look at this camper van. It's cutting edge as camper van is. We've got a great big awning with awning light. And then let's work our way around. On the Mercedes chassis. It's gonna have a fresh water tank. So that's where we fill up the fresh water. 230 hook up, which we've already got in. And this is our flue for our heating water system. I haven't got a clue till we get inside. And then let's just have a quick look at the back. So we're still not in yet get to see what's inside this van. So it's been boarded out at the back. There's a support rail for the middle for the awning. And um, the other the awning winder does live there. Um, let's go around and have a look inside. Right, so now we're in the cab. Um, we've got three seats in the cab, three belted seats. Do you want to have a quick preview of what's in the back? You can't because it's boarded up so you can't see. So let's carry on. Um, obviously steering wheel, um, which would help actually having the steering wheel. Uh, it's got cruise control. Like I said earlier on, it's automatic, air conditioning, built-in camera, reversing camera, media pack, smart looking cab. Um, I, I do like this cab actually. So shall we now get inside the van? Kev, I'm trying to do a review of my new camper van. Well, Have that first aid kit, get yourself gone, there's your first aid and let me carry on with my review. Are you sure now? Yeah, come on, come out. Have you saved me here? Have you guessed it? It's an hairdresser's. Look at this, how good's this? I've got my own little hairdresser's seat with my big mirror. Come and have a look. So, I've got my mirror so people can see how good of a job I'm doing at cutting hair. I've got my seat and I've got my own little sink here as well that I can give people a little wash down. Look at that. How good's that? My new business. So let's give you a proper idea of it. As you can see, you've got your sink and then you've got your chair. Look at that, we've got a waiting room there, seating for people to watch. And then we've got storage all the way along. Storage again. And then we've got a tally for people to sit and watch while they're waiting for me to cut their hair. And I must admit, the cabinets are really well specced. Really do like these cabinets these lockers. So, as we can see, 
Um, looks like we've got a little older here for putting her air dryers in. Um, somebody obviously must be doing been doing cuts here as well. So there probably would be another chair put in here where these cuts have been done. Um, good length waiting area to sit down. And then like I say, we've got more lockers here as well. Really liking the colours. We've got the TV to keep people occupied while they're waiting. And then if we have a look here, I like these lights. So we can have them off, we can have a mood, and then we can also go to white. So I really do like these lights. Um, we've got the skylight. Again, standard camper van style, fly screens and blinds. And then let's just have a look underneath the seat and let's see what we've got. So let's move this off. And again, good quality. So let's have a look what we've got. So, we have our leisure battery, standard pump, um, pressure pump, a sure flow, Truma water heater, the drain down. And then if we have a look on the other side, we have our 12 volt fuses, we've got the 230, and there's a battery charge. So pretty standard camping um, design everything there that a camper would have. Let's put that back down. Oh. Also at the back of the van, we've got a window again, fly screens, blinds. Don't know why we've got fly screens on because the window does not open. And then let's move to the front. Shampoo area. We've got the shampoo area. Let's have a look what we have underneath here. Yeah, again storage obviously there's our drain and then we have the hot and cold and how good's that look at that and then we've got the mirror <coughs> for for the cutting and then let's just have a look down here we have the control panel and pretty much does everything let's say 12 volts that's on off we've got the pump lights and then we've got battery condition um, that will be fresh water and then here we have the Truma Truma heater and I think it's just hot water no it's hot no, water it's and it. blown air so and also I've just spotted we have a gas heat so basically we've got a gas loose system and by the looks of it Kevin Lee it's also got a tank heater apparently mm. for the, uh... and we've got a tank heater as well so this is not going to be a long video. Um, let me know in the comments what you think of the van. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to us and don't forget to hit the like button. Now this camper van, hairdresser, salon, whatever you want to call it, I think it's a perfect opportunity for some hairdresser out there um, that they could use for festivals, markets. It just opens a big opportunity for anybody in hairdresser because you've got your hair cutting area there, you've got your wash place for washing the air, Again, there's probably another area been set up there as well um, for cutting air as well. Um, but could you just imagine it on a campsite? Pulled up, you've got the awning out, you've got people waiting outside. People can come in here if they're having the roots done or anything like that, or having air extensions. Kev, what do you think? Yeah, I could do that. Not sure, yeah. You could, couldn't you? Um, so, great opportunity this van. It's a McLaren Sports Home that have converted it and it was converted in 2017 by them. Um, we've got Fiamma awning, um, awning lights, we've got the Truma Com before he blown out our water system, um, thermostat controlled, it's got a control unit, LED TV with DVD, sure flow water pump, um, aluminium checker plated rear doors and walls, fresh water tanks 100 litres, wastewater tanks 80 litres. Um, we have a 20 litre refillable underslung LPG tank and the base cost for converting this was 21,000 plus VAT. So you're 25,000 um, pounds just to convert this van. And I must say it's been done and you can tell it's good spec and it's a good, good conversion. But we don't get things like this in often and I like it. So, any budding hairdressers out there, what do you think? Let us know in the comments. Um, it's on, like I say, it's only been converted three or four years ago, um, and you can tell it's hardly been used. It's not been knocked about. Um, everything's everything's as it should be. There's no scratches or anything. Well, I 
I can't really say much more about it. Great camper van, if you're an hairdresser. Next! Not again, I've only got one here left. Kev, I've got practice somehow, haven't I? Come on!